Hi everyone, I'm Victoria Main. I'm here with uh, actress and writer Clara Davies for our fourth episode of TV and Film Focus. So Claire, thank you for being here. Thank you for Clara, having me. Clara, excuse me, I always say Clara, <laughs> but it's Clara. Um, so you, you, you're kind of new to the area. Yes. Okay. And you, you live down, um, you live near Ashland, so mm -hmm. you spend a lot of time coming back and forth to work on projects and things. Yes, my husband and I found the most perfect, peaceful little plot of land. Um, and so I travel a lot to the Twin Cities and Duluth for work. Okay, great. You love it down there, is that what you're yes. saying? Okay. Yes, I do. Well, that's good. It's, it's, uh, it's good to be happy with where you live. Um, so you've been working on some film stuff and doing different roles, and um, and you did you did a short film. Yes. Correct. Last year, a year ago, was that? Yes. Okay. Um, last year, just after the Parkland shooting, I had there was a story that just kept coming to my head, um, and so I just started writing it down, and then it evolved into this short story, and then into a short film, um, and then some people that I had worked with before, I was like, this is a great idea. I would like to play the actress can you film it, direct it? And they said, well, you should just direct it too. Um, so it went by really quickly. We filmed in October and um, in March, I think, we finished with the editing and now we've submitted to festivals to get it out there. Okay. So we're just waiting on that process. Yeah. So um, tell me a little bit about how your experience was uh, as an actress, because I'm a little bit in the same boat myself and uh, have just started directing something um, for, for camera. Mm -hmm. And um, so tell me a little bit about what it was like to direct for your first project. With well, um, with this, it was a huge undertaking. We had, um, the story itself was very intense and very, important so we put a lot into it we had a very high budget we made sure that we had all of the right people on the team um, and I had a great assistant uh, assistant producer um, who helped who is a director he's directed me before in other work um, so when I was on camera he could kind of direct me sure a little bit and then be when I'm on the other side um, it was kind of just being two people at one time mm -hmm. as an actress and being in the story and then as a director and watching over everything, yeah. kind of taking care of my team and yeah. making sure we get everything that we need to make this story a reality. Did you, uh, did you, get, I know for me, I got a little OCD about things. Did yeah. that happen to you? Yeah, I'm, um, I'm very type A, but I'm also open to collaboration mm -hmm. and um, I'm very willing to let people have their opinions. Um, and so I think that I did a great job of letting everyone have their opinions. And um, we, I had an amazing DP, Aaron Huber, um, and he had some great ideas for shots and different things and adding in little things at the end. And um, it, was, it was very great. I was very grateful to have those people who felt like they could bring those ideas to me because mm -hmm. there's no way I could have done it by myself and be very specific about everything because it, it wouldn't be as magical as it is. Yeah. So uh, collaboration, um, mm -hmm. it, you definitely called for in that situation <laughs> when you're on both sides of the camera. You yeah. need kind of need somebody you can count on, um, you know, who can kind of fill that role when you're yes. when you're on camera. Um, okay. So and and you are you are also uh, you also do writing. Yes. And you're working on a couple of screenplays, is that right? Yes. So before I got into acting, I um, began writing again. Um, it started as novels, and then they transitioned a little bit into screenplays. And I'm thinking, like, oh, when this gets made into a movie, because that's, you know, the natural progression for everything that I do, um, I'll just be the actress for this. And I'm like, well, that's a long time period for one story. I should just start acting again. Um, and then after the last day of school, the short film that I wrote, I started writing more with myself as the main character. Um, and now I have a couple features written. Um, I'm w working on one to, that we're producing and we're, we'll be filming in the fall. Okay. Um, and that's something you're going to film here in Duluth? Between Duluth and my home uh, okay. in Wisconsin. Um, okay. Being it, it will be a very low budget you know, keeping locations to where I can 
use them for free and sure um, doing our best to kind of guerrilla film style make a film guerrilla shoot yeah nice so you're gonna shoot that in the fall yes fall and winter it's fall a, and winter. It's a winter based and and can you tell us a little bit about that story? Yeah, okay. super excited about it. Um, so at my house, we make maple syrup, and we have a sugar shack. And um, you know, in my ma imagination, I'm like, oh, well, what would it, what would happen if this happened? Um, so it's about a sugar maker's widow, um, kind of going through the whole process of the winter without her husband, um, but also dealing with the conflict of also being pregnant so it's a very you know sad and happy at the same time it's just this huge conflict within her to move past and embrace you know the life that she now has hmm and who's who's directing this uh, piece this um taylor clement and she is a newish director she graduated i think last year um, and we've worked together before on some student films, and I just loved working with her. We have a great chemistry and um, understanding of like what roles we each will have. I won't be directing this, um, but because I wrote it and I will be acting in it, she is open to like everything that I'm bringing mm -hmm. to the table, and I'm happy to have her do all of the main thinking about scene work and what's going to be happening so I can get into this really... Um, evolved character because she because the character itself herself will be very layered she's got a lot of layers to her personality and she's got a lot of things that she has to deal with so putting myself in that character i need to have some a partner who can direct that sure can guide you guide mm -hmm. you through that yeah well, I hope, I hope that goes well. Thank you. And maybe we can screen, maybe that'll be one of the um, Duluth Period Film Festival. Yeah, I hope so. I'm <coughs> not sure. Because it's a feature, I'm not sure, you know, going from a short film to a feature, I, the process is, you know, a lot more elongated. Right. So. Depending on when you get it ready. Yeah. Okay. So it sounds like you've done a lot of writing for quite some time. Yes. Is it? Okay. So, so what have you been writing? Have you been writing screenplays? You said you wrote, wrote a novel? Or? Well, um, I start a lot of stuff. Okay. And then I get distracted by another story. I have a long list of story ideas. <laughs> um, so I have three or four novels started. Um, but just writing different, like, little notes even daily of just, like, little blurps of creativity, like, storyline that come into my mind. I just yeah. write all of that. Wow. So you, you've been doing that for a long time. Yeah, not sharing any of it, okay. um, but practicing, okay. I guess. And then, uh, and then you've been acting for a while, too. Yes. Okay. So, um, and, and you did, um, did kind of co-direct your first short with that, your friend, right? Yes. So you kind of served as director on that mm -hmm. one. That's cool. Um, so how are you finding the community here? Like, you know, do you feel like people or the creative community is... Uh, accessible and uh, yeah absolutely um, I when I started acting in the area I just found everyone on Facebook um, and from there you know you just continue to meet people and go to different things and going to the Duluth Superior Film Festival um, and now we have Catalyst here and going to those meetings and just meeting different people it just it gives me a lot of connection with everyone but mm -hmm. also more ideas um, for ways that we can collaborate together. So it's really opening and welcoming, even in the state of Minnesota, because I do a lot in the Twin Cities as mm -hmm. well. And it's just a lot of creative people who are so rooted into the Midwest and what we have here, but are open to ideas that come from the coasts and bringing things in um, to create better stories. Sure. Well. You know, as you as you know, um, I'm sure after if you've been in this business for a while, um, there's not very many women directors. There's not very many yes. women screenwriters. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, you know, are you are you finding it easy to connect with 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 some women? Find some women out there who are doing uh, doing things. Yeah, um, I ha there are so many in you know this community um that's why i specifically reached out to taylor i'm 
because I wanted you know to build this female team um, just because we, we have different versions of things we have different ways to yeah. view things um, and so you know I, I love meeting other women and just other creatives right. other people sure. um, that I like to work with in the community yeah well you know like I said you know we I mean it's great to mm -hmm. um, connect in the creative community community but um, but it's also really great to bring another woman into the business mm -hmm. uh, yeah and I, I really love supporting what other women are doing mm -hmm. um, and finding ways like I have friends who are like I want to be an actress I want to write something I'm like do it you do that really well so do it and then I will help you I want to support you yeah in any way that I can to get something made so you have this yeah yeah well I I endorse that a thousand mm -hmm. percent I think we should maybe um, uh, what do you think about the idea of starting a you know a women's kind of filmmaker thing I think that would be great yeah I think um, you know inclusion is really important mm -hmm. um, so keep, I mean having a little bit of difference from you know a wide community but having um, a lot of inclusion and d you know different topics like if there are meetings then talking about you know what do we do in these kind of situations as this minority really right well it's certainly in this business mm -hmm. we're a minority yes. so um, you know anything we do to, to mm -hmm. you know get ourselves up there in the yeah you know. and really just support each other and that's yeah. that's what we need it's, we can't continue to let you know no offense to anyone but white men to like separate us from each other or pit us against each other and make us compete um, but really supporting each other mm -hmm. and like we can both do this at the same time yeah yeah. It's totally possible. Yeah. So supporting each other and lifting each other up. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, so so now that Catalyst is coming to Duluth, mm -hmm. um, have have you ever have you ever done any work on episodic stuff? Do you have any interest in writing episodic? I do. So I first, you know, when the first um, article came out for Catalyst um, or ITV festival at, the, at that time coming to Duluth and I started thinking and I, I had all these features still in my head. I'm like, how could I break these into episodics and submit something? Um, but I never really got around to it. So I do have different ideas for episodics that I want to write and I want to create. Um, one that I'm really set on is like a comedy about the wedding industry itself because um, that's something that I do in my day job is event planning. So. I really love that. I think it's very funny. Oh, so I would like to. Indeed, um, I think there's definitely do something potential with that. there. Yeah. Um, so, um, so are you gonna are you gonna maybe try to kind of think episodically about going into next year for maybe submit something to Catalyst next year? Yeah. Well, my focus this year is really the feature that sure. we'll be filming. Um, we're gonna be meeting in the next week or so to talk about the pre production and the steps that we're taking because we're gonna within the next month or so get move really rapidly into getting that created. Um, but I do take, you know, a couple hours out of the week to make little notes about characters and different mm -hmm. parts of the series that I want to create. So hopefully by next spring, I'll have something concrete to either create or submit. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you're right. You know, you've got to get this feature yes. uh, going and uh, shoot that. Get yeah, that. I'm I'm very well known to my husband for having too many irons in the fire. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to not do that. Yeah, yeah, trying to focus. Um, so, you know, it, you know this, I'm sure that, you know, con one of the things that's great about the content, uh, Catalyst Content Festival is that, you know, there is such an increased demand for mm -hmm. content because of all the new, you know, yes. there's so much digital streaming content now that's available mm -hmm. in every possible format. Um, so it really sort of, you know, creatives are being called upon to produce yes. at a rate, you know, suddenly there's this whole new world opening up that has to be filled with content, mm -hmm. which I think is great for us. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very excited about it. So. Um, Talk a little bit about where you see, you know, how you hope that this trend ends up, you know, uh, where, yeah. where, where are we going? 
Yeah, well, one, I love that Catalyst decided to come to Duluth. Yeah. I think it's an amazing, not only community, but amazing location. Yeah. Um, and I'm really excited to see the progression that happens because of the festival, um, not only in the film community, but in the greater northern region. Yeah. And I would like to see, you know, the incentives come back to Minnesota and, you know, start bringing more things in because with the Midwest is such like a gold mine for creative untapped potential. And I, yeah. I'm really excited to see that kind of evolve and blossom the similar to the way um, Georgia did. Yeah. Um, with everything that came there. And, yep. you know, it really put a lot of people to work. Um, so I think that's really important. Yeah. For around here. I'm also, you know, there's, <coughs> there's kind of a almost too much content, but I'm excited, like, because there's so many different platforms, but I'm very excited that people are creating different varieties of this. Like, there's online series and there's streaming and, you know, there's YouTube and all of these different ways that people can create content that isn't just short films and features. Right. It's a different variation of storytelling. Well, and it gives you it gives you a lot of flexibility uh, in your stories because mm -hmm. you know you it's you, you could conceivably write something tailored specifically for a platform, yep. right? And 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 say you know I think this would work best. I can do this quirky little story. Yes. That's a ten minute thing. Mm -hmm. I can put that in this on this platform. Yes. So that that for me is you know that gives mm -hmm. us a lot of uh, that really lets us kind of explore. The creative options. Yeah, and there's a different way of storytelling than there is for features. Because features, you get, you know, 90 minutes, 120. You get this short amount of time to develop these characters, tell the story. But in a series, you get, you know, 8, 12, 25 episodes per season. And it can continue on and on. And your characters evolve. And they become, like, these yeah. people. Um, and they're just... It, I really love seeing that evolution of storytelling yeah I think it's great what what are some of the series that are you you do you have time to watch TV uh, what do you what do you watch I try to watch TV um, I, there's I don't have too much time um, I love let's see Big Little Lies I think has been fantastic um, Sharp Objects was great um, I love the ones that are like are these Netflix series um, maybe HBO. Okay, HBO. Okay. Um, Netflix. I love Stranger Things. Oh, okay. I'm also also my default is Friends, for a series. Um, but yeah, I I mean, you know, I have a long list of movies that I need to watch and TV series that everyone yeah watches. yeah. I just started watching Orange Is the New Black. Oh, and okay. And that's like yeah, eight years old. Yeah. So. It's a good one. I'm, I'm a little behind. Yeah. No, I understand completely. <laughs> Um, well, let me see. Is there anything else I haven't covered here? Is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, long pause. I don't know. I guess I can't really think of anything. I've been working um, with friends in the community to create little pieces of content because I think um, one, social media is super important, especially as actors, but um, in the realm of getting your name out there because mm -hmm. it's just that's where we're all progressing mm -hmm. um, and so we've been doing our best to create content for specifically for platforms like Instagram and Facebook so that's something fun that I'm doing that's interesting um, in in the meantime you know because I have so much free time um, but that's fun that's what I, I like to do it's a fun little project where I'm still creating but it's not as intense I can do it all from my iPhone so there's different programs and sure mm -hmm. well and um, you know web series are kind of a big thing now yes uh, much bigger than they used mm -hmm. to be and even even podcasting you know where yes. you can you can tell stories episodically mm -hmm. uh, that way so yeah it's it's, it's a whole new there's world a, yeah, that's and opening up a lot of potential yeah well let's hope that uh, we all get to play in the sandbox for a really long yes. time well thank you Clara thank you for, for having being me here. Um, I'm Victoria Maine we'll see you next time on TV and film focus